Hey everyone, Maddox here. Today we're going to talk about channel collections and how to customize your guide better. You're probably familiar with the filters already available in the on now and guide sections. They're the little groups that filter channels based on the type of content that's currently playing. These filters also include the channels you marked as favorites. The problem with this is favorites are managed on each client individually. Now this is fine if you have just a couple clients, but if you have a lot, it becomes a pain quickly. But what if you could have this? your own groups of channels managed in a single place that show up on every client. That's where Channel Collection saves the day. Okay, let's jump right into it. Channel Collections are managed in your Channels DVR server web admin. To get there, click on the Live TV tab and go to Channels Collections. Channel Collections are simple. They're just named groups of channels that replace the filters that were originally in the Channels app. Okay, let's make a new Channel Collection. Click Add Collection. Click on the Edit button to give it a name. Let's call this one First Favorites. So now we're going to create a favorites list that will then be synced to every channel's client. So we don't have to deal with marking favorites on every single device. We'll create it once here and then it will be available on every app. Okay, let's pick some channels. Let's just do the regular locals first, then maybe TNT, uh, have a little bit of news. What else do we want in here? Uh, we go ahead and search. We get some ESPN in there and we'll add it. Okay, great. Now we have a list of channels that'll be available on every client. Okay, let's make a couple more collections. Okay, let's go ahead and just add a bunch of channels to these. Okay, great. We've got all our channel collections now. Now we have our own specific group of channels that we want, and they'll sync to every client. Now that we've got the channel collections created, now we have to apply them to the clients. So we do that using server-side settings. If you haven't watched our video on server-side settings, click the card in the corner and you can learn about them. To add channel collections to your clients, find the setting under server-side only. Add it. Channel collections are not automatically applied to all your clients. You have to add them manually. This allows you to have collections that are in use or out of use. A great example of that would say a channel collection that has all the channels that are broadcasting the NCAA tournament on. That way you can add them or remove them based on the season. Let's go ahead and add all of them now. Favorites, mom's channels, dad's channels, sports, movies, and kids. Okay, they have been applied. Let's go ahead and switch over to the clients. Check it out. All right, as we can see, all of our channels have been added. But one thing you'll notice is we now have two favorites. The reason is one of them is the channel collection you created and the other is the built-in favorites filter. You can see we also have the HD filter showing as well. We can easily hide these using server side settings. So let's switch back to the web admin. You can find these settings under general, live TV, Favorites collection, show HD collection. Add them and simply hide them. Okay, so now they're not gonna show. Let's go back to the client. Voila, they're hidden. And now we have exactly what we want. We have our own customized groups of channels. And not only for this client, for every client. But what if you want different channel collections for different clients? You can do that as well using server-side settings. Let's switch back to the web admin. Let's say we want this client to have its own set of channel collections. Click on the client, add the setting as usual, and we'll just add those three. Now, let's go back to the client and check. Voila, now it has its own custom set of channel collections. Channel collections allow you to manage your channels all in one place, as well as customize each client specifically. They're super powerful and couldn't be easier to use. If you have a lot of clients, utilizing channel collections is a no-brainer. 
So what do you guys think? How are you using channel collections? What kind of groups are you making for your channels? Let us know in the comments and any other thoughts you have on channel collections. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing so you'll catch all of our future videos that dig deep into some of the helpful features channels has for making it the best way to watch and record your TV entertainment.